Hi guys. Okay, so we have our first night of flipped homework tonight. I'm so excited. So what you're going to need is your language arts journal. And remember that's the one with the red cover. And you're going to open to the next available page. And it doesn't matter if it's the front or the back of the page. It doesn't matter. So just whatever the next available page is. Okay. And remember, very important rule, whatever I write, you write. Okay. So if you need to pause the video at any point, you can pause it. And you can rewind it and you can watch me as many times as you need to, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? So tonight we're gonna talk about complete sentences, incomplete sentences, and run-on sentences, okay? So let's go ahead and write our title. Let's do a nice purple tonight. So we're gonna say complete comma, incomplete, comma, run-ons. Oops, undo. I have my eraser on for some reason. Run-ons. Okay, so go ahead and write that title. Okay, I'm gonna erase, oh, I'm gonna erase my little dots here. Okay, so if you, again, if you need to pause, if you're not ready to move on, that's okay. You just pause and then play it when you're ready, okay? So the first thing we're gonna talk about is complete sentences. So complete sentences um, need to have a subject and whatever the subject is doing, okay? So you think about the subject of the sentence, it's kind of like the who or the what. And we're going to talk lots more about subjects and predicates next week, but we're just going to have a little preview this week, okay? So let's write complete. Make sure you're writing on the line, okay? Complete sentences. Okay? So write complete sentences and underline it like that, okay? And we're going to say complete sentences have... Um, have a, so do a little dot for a little bullet point. We're going to say have a subject and a predicate. So remember, this is going to be, we can use this journal as a resource to help us whenever we're trying to um, do our work. So you want to make sure you're writing neatly, okay? So don't write scrolling all over the place, writing all over, the, not on the line. You want to be able to use this as a resource. So make it um, usable, make it neat, okay? So, and then we're going to do an example. So an example would be, let me move us up a little bit. An example would be the dog ran across the yard. So something else that we didn't write down that's really important is all sentences need what? Think about it. What do all sentences need? All sentences have to have capital letter and punctuation. So when I was grading some of y'all's tests this weekend, Y'all were forgetting to write those on your test. So make sure that you're remembering when I write a sentence, I have to have capital letter and punctuation. Okay. So that's our, that's our example of a complete sentence. The dog is the subject and ran across the yard is the predicate. That's what the dog is doing. Okay. If I just have a sentence that says the squirrel, that's not a complete sentence because I don't know what the squirrel's doing. Right. Or if I just have a sentence that says ate lunch, well, who ate lunch? What ate lunch, right? I have to think about, I have to have both. I have to have who is it about and what are they doing, okay? All right, our next, um, oops, our next type of sentence is incomplete sentences. So the, the, oh my goodness, I'm sorry, girl, here we go. If I have in at the beginning of a word, there we go. That tells me not, okay? So incomplete means not complete. 
Incomplete sentences are also called fragments, okay? So if I um, am making a quilt or like a, a big pretty blanket and I have cut away the extra parts that I don't need before I sew it, what's left are called fragments. They're just pieces, right? They're not the whole blanket. They're missing something to be the whole blanket, aren't they? I have to have the rest of the fabric for it to be whole, but this is just a little extra piece, okay? So if incomplete sentence is also called a fragment, we're gonna do a parentheses right here. Fragments, okay? <clears throat> so we're gonna underline it. And incomplete sentences or fragments are missing either the subject or the predicate, okay? So they, let's do our little bullet point, and we're going to say missing well, there we go, missing, <laughs> I don't know why it's not writing, guys, there we go, let's try again, there we go, missing subject or the predicate, okay? Remember, in, this little in at the beginning means not, okay? So it's either, so both of those examples earlier, whenever I said the squirrel or ate lunch, those are two different parts of a sentence, but they're not a whole sentence. So if it's part of a sentence, it is a fragment. Remember, like the part of the blanket that we cut off, okay? So an example would be, um, okay, let's say example, EX stands for example, and then those little two dots. Um, one example would be the squirrel. Okay, and then a period. So I've got capital letter and punctuation, but it is not a complete sentence, okay? Another example would be Hmm. There we go. Another example would be <laughs> Okay, there we go. Guys, I don't know. I think I'm pushing a button maybe. Here we go. Example would be ate lunch. Again, I've got capital letter and punctuation, but I don't know in that first example, I don't know what the squirrel's doing, right? Not a complete sentence. It's a fragment. Ate lunch. I know what they're doing, but I don't know who it is or what it is, right? It could be the basketball late lunch for all I know, okay? All right, so those are fragments. Our last example, or our last type of sentence we're talking about is a run-on sentence, okay? So we're going to write run-on, run-on sentences, okay? Let's look at that title real quick. Run on. What does it sound like to you? It sounds like something is running on, right? When we run, okay, we run a little while, but then when we run on, it means we run farther. And we run on, we run farther than that, right? So run ons are sentences that go on and on and on and on without punctuation, okay? So run on sentences are sentences that go on and on without punctuation. Okay, without punctuation. So if I stick some punctuation in there, then it becomes two separate complete sentences, okay? And that's cool, that's, that's awesome. But when we have a sentence like, Miss Hargrove went to the store, she bought a lot of groceries, some of them were milk and cheese. <laughs> I don't have any punctuation. I don't have any room to stop and breathe, right? A punctuation mark tells us to stop and pause, right? So if I said Miss Hargrove went to the store and there was a period there, I'd have a little pause. She bought a lot of groceries. Some of them were milk and cheese, okay? So I have three separate complete sentences, but if I don't have any punctuation there, that's a run on, okay? So let's do an example down here. 
I'm going to just move it around a little bit. And we're going to say, Miss Hardgrove went to the store. She bought, uh-oh, she bought a lot of groceries. That is a run on, okay? There are not, there's no punctuation in there that tells you to pause. I have too many subjects and too many predicates, right? So Ms. Hargrove is the, the subject and she is the subject and went to the store and bought a lot of groceries. Okay, so I have too much going on. I have to have a punctuation mark in there, okay? And we're going to talk so much more about all of these, but your job tonight is to go onto the seesaw and just match the examples with subjects, I mean, uh, with complete sentence and incomplete sentence and a fragment, okay? And remember, I want you to do this totally by yourself because this is going to help us know what we need to practice tomorrow, okay? All right, guys, thank you for watching. You finished your first flipped homework video. Great job. I'll see you tomorrow.